everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I'm doing an author spotlight and this author spotlight is on Denise Hunter in honor of her new book being released. It was actually released May 1st. I wanted to film this before May 1st but unfortunately my iMovie has been being very wonky with what it wants to let me film but I definitely wanted to share this with you. I know it's been in my um it was in my vlog when I read it and things like that so I want to, to make sure that I spotlighted her as an author because she is absolutely one of my favorite authors um, and I was really lucky to get a um, an arc of her book before it was released so I was able to read it and enjoy it so that way I can share the love with you guys but all of these thoughts of her books are definitely an honest and true thought with no bias towards it because I did actually ask for it so it's not like it was just randomly sent to me but I figured before we get to the book that was just released, I mean, I should tell you what it is, but it was Honeysuckle Dreams by Denise Hunter. Um, I figured I would share with you my journey with Denise Hunter's books. And this all started probably about, I want to say two years ago, I read my first ever book by her. I was reading books for the Fiction Guild, and they sent me... The Goodbye Bride by Denise Hunter. Little did I know at that point in time that this was actually the second book in a three book series. And I picked it up anyways and I just fell in love with her characters. She writes these small town characters that you just fall in love with. And you just care for them and you root for them and you want them to do the best that they can and have the best at, turn out at the end and these towns, you just feel like you are a part of that community, and I just love them. So I picked up the second book in this series, and I absolutely loved it. Hands down, loved it. So then in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, I know that she's definitely going to be an author for me. The Fiction Guild then was really kind enough to send me the third book, which was Just a Kiss by Denise Hunter. I think I must have gushed with joy the minute I opened this book to find out the box that had this book in it to know that I was going to be able to read this. Now this is a series. This is a series called Summer Harbor Ser Novels and there's three of them. They are, they are, <laughs> I can talk. They are companion novels, but Denise Hunter has a great way of writing books that go in a series but can easily be read alone. So even though I had a, at this point read the first book, I felt like I was truly invested in all of these books. Each book follows a different brother and their love and their tribulations. And you know that it's good when you can pick up the second book and third book and then it still makes you want to go buy the first one. So Fiction Guild was really kind to send me these books, so then I ended up picking this one up on my own. So this is the first book, Falling Like Snowflakes. Each one follows a different brother, and I love this family. Like, I wish, like, th these are the brothers that are, like, if you live in that town and you're, like, oh, those brothers. And, like, everybody knows who they are. Everybody wants to be them. Everyone wants to be their friend. Everybody wants to date them. Like, they are those types of boys and they are those types of boys for a reason. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this series. Now, because I really, really enjoyed this series, I decided to pick up her other series all on my own. These are usually on Book Outlet if you are interested. Definitely check them out. That's where I got all of these from. And this is her Chapel Spring series. Little did I know that the Chapel Spring series actually is preemptive to this book. Because when you get to the last book in this series, it refers to these brothers. And you're like... Oh my goodness. So even though they're not related, they still are related. Like, I love that about her books. Um, these also follow family members. These are all siblings in one family. We've got Barefoot Summer. We have Dancing with Fireflies. The Wishing Season. And Mary Till Monday. Another set of fabulous books they are wholesome. They make you feel good. Um, she is a Christian fiction writer, so she does have a little bit of God in there, and not a not a ton. So don't be scared, but it definitely hits you in the feelings. I always leave these books feeling so whole and so complete. I know that sounds silly, but it's totally true. So I picked up these books, read all of these, 
absolutely love these. This was actually, I believe, my first book of the year that I read this year, and it was immediately a five out of five stars. So there's those books. So I've already read all of those. Then I also received Sweetbriar Cottage by Denise Hunter. This one was told to me that it was going to be a standalone, and I enjoyed this one. I have to be honest, didn't enjoy it as much as the other ones, because I think in my head I was like, it's a standalone, it's not going to have my connections, I'm not going to be able to see any more of these characters. But I was wrong, because you actually see them in her new series, the Blue Ridge Sunrise series. And these take place in the town that this one is kind of near. Um, and these characters make an appearance in here. So definitely, again, like I said, you can see these interconnections, interwovenness, this complete feeling of family and vision and setting. So you cannot go wrong. Um, this is Blue Ridge Sunrise. This is the first book in her new series, which is followed by Honeysuckle Dreams, which is why I'm making this video for Honeysuckle Dreams. This book just came out, and it is by far one of my favorites. Granted, I have a very hard time picking a favorite of her books because they are all so good. I definitely have recommended this, and I know a lot of people have already taken me up on my recommendation, have read this and pre-ordered it, so thank you so much for supporting her. Um, and some people said, hey, I didn't read Blue Rise Sun Ridge Sunrise, but I read this one, and I understood it 100%. I understood what kind of probably took place in this book, and I read this no problem. So you can read this no problem without reading the first book, but if you're me, you love to see those interconnections. You love to see those little Easter eggs of other books. So definitely I would recommend reading both. But this one was so good. These follow these, um, it's another sibling pair. <laughs> Surprise! Another sibling pair. This one follows the sister. This one follows the brother. And they're in this small town. And they're going through what they need to go through. Again, I don't like to say too much because of the fact that they are kind of interwoven. They can be read alone, but they can easily be read as a series. So I never want to spoil anybody by accident. But the camaraderie between these two siblings and the compassion for each other and the sympathy for each other and the way that they interact is so... Oh, breathtaking, along with all the love that happens. Um, it's so good, so good. Highly recommend. Please go check these out. I have not read her first ever series. I believe it was her first ever series. I have not read the Nantucket love stories. I think they're a little bit harder to get my hands on, so I haven't found them yet. But I do have the Big Sky Romance waiting for me. I know that I'm going to love these, so I bought all three because I knew I was going to love these and I knew I needed more Denise Hunter in my life. Um, people always ask me, hey, where would I start if I want to start reading her books? My recommendation is any of them. Um, if you are more hankering towards her newish series, I would definitely recommend The Sweetbriar Cottage. Blue Ridge, Sunrise, and then her newest book, but I would recommend buying all of them at the same time because you're going to want to be in her world because she will just suck you in. Um, if you are interested in my other series that I talked about, I would definitely read the Chapel Springs books first because of the fact that the, third, the fourth book kind of leads you into these and you get to meet these characters a little earlier in this series and this obviously takes place before these so I would recommend reading these four before these three but because these are my first three that I ever read I also have a really soft spot for this series so really you can't go wrong with her they're fantastic if you're looking for a wholesome quick read that's just beautiful and will leave you smiling and leave you happy at the end you need to check her out so Definitely, definitely, definitely. Don't just take my word for it. Go check her out. Go look at Goodreads. Everybody else is writing glowing reviews for her. Go check them out, please, if you have not already, which I know a lot of you already have. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found something that you might be interested in reading, or at least I answered a question about where to start. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.